Oh, here we go. Incoming turkey. And flight cancel. Hello everybody, we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and today we're going to be doing something that I have not done in a very long time. We're actually going to grind turkeys and that's because somebody in the comments of my last video that I did a turkey hunt in, which, well, I wasn't necessarily going for turkeys in particular, but we did end up getting a really big light brown turkey and somebody was suggesting that I actually grind for them to try and get a diamond rare one. So we're going to start that up today. I don't know how long we're going to be doing it here on Silver Ridge. Once the brand new map comes out, we might switch to trying to get a rare diamond uh, Rio Grande turkey because obviously we're going to be spending most of our time on that map, but we got a little female turkey here. We'll start out with her. Obviously, not going to be prioritizing females in every occasion, but it's the only one here, so we'll go ahead and take it out. Now, I did go ahead and bring a couple shotguns along with our 22. We have our 22 right here, and then we also have the 20 gauge semi automatic along with. Oh. Well then, that was interesting, but <laughs> as I was saying, we got the 20 gauge semi and we also have the 20 gauge side by side shotgun, which I really don't use too often, so it's nice to bring it out every once in a while. I'm curious uh, how often we'll actually get to use it though, but considering turkeys do just this uh, very often, I'd imagine we'll get to use the shotguns quite a bit. There is another one right there. This is just a seven to nine weight estimate, so it's not going to be anything huge, but we'll real quickly drop that little guy and hopefully we'll get a couple others on the way over. Now, turkeys do have a pretty short drink time, so we are going to be changing the time very often just so that we can make sure that we always have all of the turkeys in their zone. Uh, the only true time where they're always in their zone is 15.30 to 16 because some of them drink from 15 to 15.30, others drink from 15.30 to 16.30. It varies quite a bit with these guys. Some of them drinking as short as 30 minutes of in-game time, so uh, we're definitely going to be doing a lot of time resets just so we don't miss out on any turkeys. Well, this guy's about 226 away. I think this should be a very makeable shot. Uh, let's hope I know how to use the Argus well enough now. And yeah, it looks like we did get it, uh, thankfully. I wasn't sure how I was going to be doing with this scope because it's not the scope I normally use, as most of you know. But it's been working out okay so far. But every once in a while, I just like to switch it up and use some stuff that I don't typically use. And this scope is one of them. I pretty much only use it for super long range shots and uh, I figured we'd switch it up today and just use it for everything and hope that it works out good. Here's this little guy right here, 4.20 is what a lot of these 7 to 9 estimate ones end up scoring. I'm excited to see those Goulds turkey because they tend to have more blue on the head from what I saw during the little sneak peek that they showed in the last EW stream. Uh, well, by the time this video goes out, it'll actually be two streams ago, because I believe they will most likely have shown off more of the uh, map and stuff by now. But this video is being recorded a couple days in advance of being actually uploaded. Once again, another low weight 7 to 9 turkey. Uh, let's see how we can do at 300 meters. I don't even know where to aim for this distance, so we'll just guess right there. Oh, yeah, that's definitely it. So 300 meters is in between the second and third dot. Good to know. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? He flew off and landed in the water. Well, this is going to take ages to get here. So there is the turkey that we initially shot. Not too bad of a shot, honestly. 308 meters, and we hit it pretty much dead center, just a little bit far back. Not too bad. Alright, so we actually have a lot of toms right here. It looks like two of them are just seven to nines, but the other one I wasn't able to spot, so it might be a bigger one. Um, it's looking like they're going to be kind of hard to get down, though, and it looks like they're actually all going to fly off now. Uh, the two hens did, and oh my gosh, there is, yeah, all these are seven and nines as far as I can tell. And I don't even know if we hit any of those shots, uh, it really doesn't look like we did. And there is a ton more just flying away right now. That is so many turkeys. That is an insane amount of them. So I'm just gonna have to remember that 
they are on the close side and that actually is a pretty good one right there and we actually just got it so we did manage to get the 9 to 11 one so that's at least good now I am 100% going to be having our shotgun out as we run up to claim this because you never know when they might come flying down from the mountain. They tend to do that quite a bit, so I'm kind of hoping they will. Then we can just shotgun them as they fly towards us. That's going to make it a lot easier, but it's hard to say if they're actually going to do that or not. Here is that 9 to 11 Tom right here. It is a 4.30 gold. Uh, pretty low scoring for this weight estimate. Okay, so I actually didn't know that turkeys could even drink at this lake. We are right here. This is a spot where the only thing I really knew drank here was Rocky Mountain Elk and Mule Deer. I had no clue that turkeys would be up here too. That's actually pretty cool. We've got two of them out there right now. Both are the max weight estimate of 9 to 11, so definitely want to get these down. I don't know if I've got any stands close. It actually looks like I do have a tree stand, so we're going to use that. Alright, so basing off of where we had to aim at 300 meters, I would imagine that for 240 we'll need to be like right here. And yeah, that was spot on. And that is two dead turkeys. Let's do one more just for good measure on each of them. Well, we didn't get the second one, but we did manage to drop the first one pretty quickly. And the second one didn't go too much further, so should be good. Let's hope for the best on both of these turkeys, as you guys have seen many, many times. Level 2 diamonds are a relatively common thing with the 9 to 11 weight ones, so hopefully this guy will be, but they're both just 4.30s. That's pretty unfortunate, uh, pretty low score on both of them, but I mean, it is what it is. Hopefully one of these other ones will end up being a level 2 diamond. We got plenty of chances, tons of turkeys on Silver Ridge Peak, so we will see. Now that right there is super cool. We got a bunch of turkeys out 300 meters away just strutting towards, I believe, the decoys that I have over here. You can't actually see them, they're not in render currently, but I do have some turkey decoys over there. And I think they're strutting towards them. That's really cool. Uh, we do have one 9 to 11, so let's go ahead and take him out if we can. This is a long shot, but I think we got it. And we nailed him on the first shot. Now let's get the other ones. And there we go, four shots, three turkeys down, not too bad. Well, that's quite unfortunate, one of them is floating over to us, so yeah, that's a little bit annoying, but I mean, we can just come around again and pick him up after we grab these ones over here. Although, those ones might go out of render, or this guy might go out of render by the time we get those two over there, so I think we'll probably just wait. And two minutes later, this guy has finally floated over to us, and he scores 4.40. That's a pretty decent one, and this has to be the 9 to 11 weight, just based off of that weight right there, being a 9.50. So the other two aren't going to be diamonds, because those were the 7 to 9s, but it's nice to get a bunch of turkeys side by side, especially when they're strutting like that. Oh, here we go. Incoming turkey, and flight canceled. 
That poor thing. It got hit literally everywhere in the face and the neck and the chest and even a couple on the wings. That poor little thing. Neither of these are going to be anything too special, but we definitely needed to get them down because it still gives us progress towards getting our eventual diamond rare, which that's definitely the ultimate goal here. I'd love to get a melanistic in the process too. That's something I still don't have even after all of the hunting I've done on Silver Ridge Peaks. I've just never been able to find one. Oh, oh, hello there. I actually did not think that those guys were going to go in front of me. So I was just not even uh, thinking that I'd be recording right now because I was expecting them to just go past me, but uh, looks like they actually decided to fly right over top of us. So that is three turkeys down and I hear another two. And turkey number four is dead. Anybody else want to play? I don't think so. I think we're good. So that's a 4.20. I didn't actually get to spot these guys, so it's going to be a surprise what they are. They both scored 4.20, so I'm guessing they were probably both 7 to 9 estimates. And those don't really have a chance of making diamond ever. And this last one, I think, was a female, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it definitely was, but that was pretty cool. Having a bunch of them just fly over us like that. Alright, so before we continue this video, I just wanted to real quickly say that all of this turkey hunting that you guys have watched so far was actually uh, taken a couple days ago. And since then, we actually did a little bit more turkey grinding on stream and had a really cool couple kills. So before we go any further in the video, let's go ahead and toss those up right now. That right there is, I believe, a light brown. Yeah, it's definitely a light brown. We got a light brown turkey. The first rare turkey of the grind. Man, we actually got quite a few of them. Holy. No male turkey is safe. Ah, except that guy. No route of ammo. Oh well. <laughs> we got a lot of them at least. And our first rare of the grind. So I really can't complain. That was a lot of turkeys down in a very short amount of time. I'm actually really happy I deleted the zone on this side. Because that is much better over there. Let's see how many of them we actually got down. I think that had to have been at least five. At least five males. Oh. He wanted to join his buddies. <laughs> I did not expect him to fly back here. That is awesome. It's a lot of turkeys. I think we only have like three more males to claim. Then we have the female rare down there. There we go. 4.40, that's not bad. That's the one that just flew over us. And I think this was a 9 to 11. Nope, that was definitely not a 9 to 11. But this one is our little light brown. That is super awesome. We got a light brown off multiplayer recently that was actually relatively close to diamond. That's kind of what sparked this whole grind. And now we got ourselves a light brown female. Really hoping we can get a melanistic out of this grind. That's my ultimate goal, is Melanistic Diamond, but I doubt we'll get that, so any rare diamond will do. There we go. First diamond respawn of the grind. Let's go. Let's go. Where'd it go? Where is this turkey? Hey, back here, sir. Don't you go anywhere. Well, we got him. I missed the second shot, but... There we go. Diamond Turkey. I don't think these control, so... Should be a guarantee. Let's hope this thing ends up being a giant. Most of them end up being 4.60, but if we can get a 4.70, or if we're really lucky, a 4.80, that would be amazing. It's a 4.70. There we go. 
a little bit bigger than your average turkey, thankfully. Let's go, guys. We got ourselves a diamond turkey after about an hour and 20 minutes of grinding them today. Not bad. Not too bad at all. That's super awesome. That is super awesome. So as you guys just saw, we had some pretty insane luck at the very end of that stream. And we got a couple really cool turkeys. We got this little light brown female right here, which I believe if you guys paid attention, the last location that we hunted in before I went to these stream clips, we actually shot, I think, one female. And this has to be the respawn from that one. There's nothing else it could have been. I'm 99% sure that that turkey that we shot and claimed right on the road had to have been the one that respawned as this so that was actually pretty cool and then this guy right here we actually got him to respawn on stream so he was one of those ones where we killed quite a few turkeys at that lake and eventually one of them turned into a diamond and that was this guy right here and he's actually a pretty big one if we pick him up real quickly he actually is a 4.75 so he is absolutely huge they max at 4.80 so this guy was very very close to max score but anyway guys we're gonna go ahead and end the video here I hope you all enjoyed the little bit of turkey hunting highlights I had meant to do some turkey hunting a little while back but just never did it and I'm glad that I finally did decide to do it because it's been a lot of fun probably some of the most fun that I've had in call of the wild in the last couple months and I had honestly forgot how fun that it was, so if you guys enjoyed, be sure to click subscribe, click the like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss a video. Also be sure to comment down below with your favorite part of this video, what you think we should grind for in the future, and what you're excited for with the brand new Mexico map that will be coming out, hopefully this month. But with all that being said, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!